There's no better way to illustrate what cumulative layout shift represents than with a visual example. Here's a website with a layout that keeps shifting as the page loads. Note that we're not scrolling at all. Our viewport remains the same, but the page shifts drastically on its own. As a user, if you visit this website, you might not be sure when it's actually done loading. The more complex a website is, the more likely it is to have a high CLS score. With simple layouts such as the iconic Google homepage, there's no CLS because they include so few elements. That's not to say that all complex websites have high CLS scores. Consider Amazon, for example. No one would say that the e-commerce giant uses a straightforward web design, yet there's little to no layout shift to be seen. Layout shifts happen because browsers tend to load page elements at different times. More importantly, there might be media elements on your page with initially unknown dimensions. This means the browser doesn't know how much space they will take up until they're done loading, hence the drastic layout shift. How to measure CLS. The best tool for this is PageSpeed Insights. For this test, we chose a website with no discernible CLS. In this case, 91% of users experienced zero layout shift while loading the test website. However, the remaining users did experience some level of layout shift. That's to be expected since user experience will vary drastically depending on what device they're visiting from, their internet connection, and many other factors. On top of field data, Google PageSpeed Insights also offers what it calls lab data. Those are performance scores based on a single test instead of data collected over a long period of time. For this example, we got a CLS score of zero, which means there's no layout shift at all. Per Google standards, your CLS score should be below 0.1. Anything above that means there are significant shifts in the layout. As for how to identify what elements are causing layout shifts on your website, you could do so using the Chrome Dev tools. If you open the tools, and jump to the performance tab, you'll be able to record performance tests as you navigate the web. After you stop recording, Chrome DevTools will return a timeline that shows loading times, individual requests, and core web vitals. From this timeline, you could select individual layout shift events and see what elements they correspond to. Once you know what elements are causing layout shifts, you can take steps to fix the problem. How to optimize your CLS score. There are two big culprits when it comes to high CLS scores, and those are media files and ads. Take images. If you upload a file with a massive resolution, but you don't specify its height and width, it's liable to break your page's layout. As a rule of thumb, you should set width and height attributes for every image that you upload to your site. That way, your browser will know precisely where the image fits and it won't need to shift the layout at the last possible second. If you're using WordPress, some image optimization plugins can automatically resize files as you upload them, which takes care of setting the necessary width and height attributes. When it comes to responsive images, you can rely on CSS, which enables you to use the max width attribute to tell browsers which percentage of the viewport the image should take up. The same fundamentals apply to ads as they do with images. Instead of letting ad networks decide how big the ads should be on your website, you can reserve areas for them. That means declaring width and height attributes for ad areas and setting fullbacks in case they don't load so the empty space doesn't cause a layout shift. For more information on CLS, including frequently asked questions, check out our blog post linked in the description. Additionally, be sure to check out our videos all about FCP, LCP, FID, and how to optimize your scores for those. If you've enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.